Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God. Five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 137, verse 5. If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. In other words, may everything that is important to me perish, or at least cease to function if I don't serve God. If my priorities are so messed up that I put God on the back burner someplace where he is not number one with me anymore, then may something happen that will jolt me back to proper priorities. That's not a bad prayer to pray. That's a good prayer to pray. Verse 6, If I do not remember you, let my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. In other words, may I lose the ability to talk. If I, if I don't put you first, God, and allow your priorities to be my priorities, then may I lose my ability to talk. Remember, he is one of the people who are in exile in Babylon, being punished for their sins against God. He wants to be home. He wants to be able to worship where he used to worship back in the good old days. And he doesn't want to lose those desires to be home and worship because he knows they are good. Verse 7, Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. When Israel was attacked and taken captive, by Babylon, their neighbor to the south, Edom, stood by, watched, and cheered. God warns people not to taunt their enemies when they are suffering. Mocking someone who is suffering, even suffering punishment from God, will itself be judged by God. It's good to recognize that people deserve the punishment that they are getting, that God is just in punishing the wicked who will not repent. That's all, that's all good. But don't cheer when people are being punished or when people are suffering in general. Verse 8, O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed, happy shall he be, that rewards you as you have served us. In other words, Babylon, I hope the one who gets you for what you did to us <clears throat> gets a big reward. Of course, the problem with that kind of thinking by Israel is that they are blaming Babylon for their troubles instead of themselves. They brought all their evil upon themselves with their horrible, unrelenting sin, and now they are blaming the circumstances and not getting to the root of the problem, which was their sin. People get angry and frustrated when they are experiencing the consequences of their sin. But they should be looking back to the sin that they committed in the first place, which brought that suffering to them. And they should regret the fact that they rebelled against God. They should regret the fact that they sinned against God in spite of his warnings that trouble would come. People will never repent until they put the blame in the right place, which is squarely on them. Study all of the Bible with me verse by verse using my audio Bible messages at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen to be a part of this ministry. Pray for me and God's Word. And also when you take a break from studying at thebibleversebyverse.com, click the Donate button at the top of the front page and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. See you next time 
on Coffee Break. <laughs>